Ford 4 liter single overhead cam V6 05 to 09 Mustang clutch pressure plate torque spec and flywheel torque spec. Do also note that when it comes to aftermarket clutches, they of them are designed to work with the factory flywheel and some are designed to go on a aftermarket style flywheel. In this particular situation, I have a luck kit, not a sponsor. Comes with correct flywheel so that you can just bolt it right on and it'll be fine. Careful the clutch is one-sided. To that in a minute. There's the pressure plate, there's the flywheel and uh, alignment tool. Here's the uh, flywheel bolts. They are one-time use, they stretch. Here's the part number. They're about $56 for all of them, unfortunately, on uh, Ford Parts Giant. Not a sponsor. <laughs> You go in a star pattern. According to the shop manual, you go one, skip one, two, skip one, three, skip one, four. Just, you know, go around like that. I'm just gonna do a star pattern. The first thing you do is 10 foot pounds and then go to 52 foot pounds. And then the clutch pressure plate bolts are 26 foot pounds and you do a star pattern. And you wanna go a couple turns, zigzag, couple turns, a couple turns, couple turns like that and until they're all, until the clutch is evenly pulled in there. We'll get to all that. Don't forget to hammer your new pilot bearing in. I'm just going to find a socket that's the same diameter as this uh, brace right here so that it is it down without damaging it. And it goes into the center here. All right, honestly, that bushing or bearing kind of pushing in there by hand most of the way. Now, don't forget to take these off. It's protecting the dowel pins. Get a little dab of this molly grease on my pinky and then stuff my pinky into the hole and just kind of rubbed it around with a lube. I'm going to clean off the mating surface where the touch contacts on the flywheel. I'm going to use some brake cleaner and a rag. And do the same thing on the pressure plate here. It's going to clean all the shipping oil off of it. The bolts hand started here. 10 and 52. Once again, it's the torque spec. I'm going to just run them down flush right now. I've got it on the uh, mode where it just gets it flush and stops impacting. Just go zigzag like that. One to 10 now. Click. Zigzag across. Click. Zigzag. All right. I won't show them all. Now we're going to do the same thing, but at 52 foot-pounds of torque on these. Wipe off any fingerprints I got on here while I was holding the flywheel still with my hand. I do recommend a microfiber. Don't touch the clutch friction material. So this is the only way the clutch goes on. It's not going to, it's not going to go on the other way. So the flat side there going towards the flywheel. Utilize the clutch alignment tool to put it into the bearing in there. and Hold it all together while you grab your pressure plate. Utilize the dowel pins on the flywheel there to align the pressure plate. There we go. See, that's what it's going to look like on all three dowel pin areas right there. Line these two threads up right here, and then this will be in the middle. And there's the other one. I am going to go ahead and squirt some goop on these bolts here because I'll be reusing it. I do advise probably getting blue Loctite instead of red Loctite. Just This is probably a little overkill, but it'll work. Okay. All right, I do have all these bolts started now. Now make sure that your clutch alignment tool here is centered inside of here. That means that your clutch is centered and you can go ahead and torque down these bolts. I, did, I would run them down a little bit by a little bit. Go zigzag like that to evenly pull the pressure plate on to the flywheel. And again, the final torque is 26 foot-pounds. Hmm, did a little too much there. Dislocated the dowel pin. There we go, we're all good. Make sure this dowel pin isn't going to pop out here. There we go. I am going to go to 10 foot-pounds first just to make sure they're all seated properly. Okay, I just did a few turns on that and I'm going to go zigzag over here to another one over here and do a few more turns on that one as well. Because as you can see, it's still pulling the pressure plate onto the flywheel. Just want to take your time, do it right, pull it in evenly. When you go back to the original spot like I am now, go to the other bolt, not the one that you already turned in. Just keep doing that until the bolts get to 10 foot-pounds and then go to 26. All right, now go around at 26. I am holding the flywheel with one hand and torquing it at the other. All right, once you've gone around three times and double check that the torque is all 26 on all of them, and you're ready to go ahead and drop the engine back in the car or put the transmission in, which is probably what you did. I've, this is a used engine I'm putting in my car. However, now you can, uh, again, make sure it's centered right here, this uh, tool, and you can pull it out. 
Yeah, she's centered. It's not every day that everything works out perfectly, but when it does, I'll have a Sam Adams. Uh, last thing I want to mention is um, I do recommend a new clutch master and slave cylinder, which I have a video on how to do the master. Um, but uh, get some molly grease and uh, put it on the input shaft of the transmission and on the splines on the input shaft. That way it'll make it slide in easier. And uh, I put a little bit of this stuff on the uh, new bearing in here as well that we put in. But uh, other than that, there you go. There's the torque specs. There's me putting a clutch on the Mustang V6 4 liter for the five speed manual transmission. Guys, I sure do hope this video helps. If it did, drop a like. No, don't just do what you want. Um, and if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I also got a Facebook and Discord group.